Dear students, in the previous class, we have seen the positive deviation from the ideal behavior and now we are discussing negative deviation. So, in negative deviation, the total pressure of the solution will be less as compared to the component. So, we can write it down as the P total will be less as compared to PA plus PB. Or I can write it down as that PA will be less then P naught A into X A and similarly P V will be less than P naught B into X B or I can write it down in terms of interactions that A A interactions and B B interactions will be less as compared to the A B interactions or the delta H mix that is the enthalpy will have the negative value and delta V mix will also have the negative value. If we see the examples, then the examples of negative deviations are HCl and water and another example is HNO3 and water. Now, similarly, if we have to plot the graph just like the positive deviation, then in case of negative deviation, the graph will be like this that here x a equals to 1 x a equals to 0 x b is equals to 0 and here x b is equals to 1 so we will get the graph this is the graph for the ideal solution you all know that this is a graph for ideal solution here p total but for negative deviation we are saying that p total is less the total pressure of the solution is less so we will get the curve like this we will get the curve like this that means the total pressure of the solution will be less so here the dotted line is showing the negative deviation from the ideal behavior because these straight lines are for the ideal behavior and dotted line is for the negative deviation now we have completed up to this we have completed the first part of the chapter and now in the second part, we are going to start the colligative properties. This is very, very important from the examination point of view. So, the colligative properties. The colligative properties. Now, what are colligative properties? These are the properties of the solution. These are the properties of the solutions which depends. These are the properties of the solutions which depends upon the number of solute particles it does not depends upon the nature of the solute particles it only depends upon the number of solute particles now in colligative properties in this chapter we have to discuss four colligative properties and our first colligative property is relative lowering relative lowering in the vapor pressure relative lowering in the vapor pressure now what is vapor pressure so before starting the relative lowering in vapor pressure first we have to make it clear that what is vapor pressure now i'm explaining it with the help of this diagram that what is vapor pressure let us consider a container which is a closed container and i have put it a burner below this and I have taken water in this container here water now if the temperature will increase this water will get definitely converted into its vapors when temperature will increase this water will boil and will con get converted into its vapors this time we will see that evaporation will be present and when these vapors strike over the walls of this container this will condense back to the solution the drops which will get condensed it will come back to the solution so this time there will be condensation process so at equilibrium at equilibrium the rate of evaporation will be equal to the rate of condensation but the leftover vapors will impart some pressure over the solution and this pressure is known as vapor pressure. So, 
vapor pressure can be defined as the vapor pressure can be defined as the pressure exerted the pressure exerted by the by the vapors of the liquid at equilibrium at liquid at equilibrium so i can say that more the vapors more the vapors formed in the solution more will be the vapor pressure because more of the vapor pressure if there will be present then it will impart more pressure over the solution so factors affecting next is the factors affecting vapor pressure factors affecting the vapor pressure so first is the nature of nature of solvent nature of solvent and the second factor is the temperature nature of solvent means that if uh, there will be uh, more interactions in the solution the vapor pressure will be less similarly if temperature will be more more of the uh, vapors will be formed and more will be the vapor pressure 